five pictures now of Hong Kong. And this is a story we are watching very closely right now. What you're looking at is tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters. Hong Kong, 12 hours ahead of where we are at 7 a.m. Eastern time. So it's 7 p.m. there. Workday over. And by the thousands, they are converging on the central business district again. They are on the eve of a national holiday, Chinese National Day today. And so they expect this to be perhaps the biggest protest yet. And there is a growing concern about what will Beijing's response be? Will there be a push by police? This is what we're going to be watching very closely today. Our reporter on the scene, Andrew Lee. Dozens of banks and schools in the area were closed again today. The streets have been quiet in the sense there's been no confrontation with police, yet some protesters fear another crackdown may be near. Hong Kong's leader, Si Wai Leung, has warned that the government in Beijing won't back down, won't meet the protesters' demands for democracy, while the demonstrators, for their part, remain just as committed. They're sending a message to Beijing that they aren't happy with how China's central government interprets democracy. And Beijing stand that only government-approved candidates will be allowed to run in Hong Kong's upcoming leadership race in 2017. In fact, the sit-ins here have given rise to similar sit-ins in other areas around the city, uh, where they've taken over major roads and are blocking traffic. The main protests, where tens of thousands of people have been gathering over the past few days, is right beside Hong Kong government offices, and also ominously close to a Chinese army garrison. Tomorrow brings October 1st, a national holiday here in China, the celebration of the birth of communist China. And ironically, the expectation is that the number of people participating in what's being called the Umbrella Revolution will grow dramatically. Andrew Lee, CBC News, Hong Kong. These are Canadians supporting the pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong on the streets in Canada last night in Vancouver. Some 300 people gathered outside the Chinese consulate. Well, I wish I were in Hong Kong now, but all I can do is do something online or participate in activities like this just to do what little we can. Solidarity protests have been held in the United States, in Australia, Europe and in Taiwan.